Hello, friends, and welcome back to Enterprise Architecture. Now, last episode, we were running a little bit long, and so I had to trim into two episodes. What we're jumping into now is the second half of that episode, having already gotten our oil production set up and this distillation tower that I'm standing on so that we can get refined products out of that oil. It's time for us to set up our big scale storage and also a diesel generator. That is, if nothing goes horribly wrong or I didn't screw something up. So let's find out. So now that I've gotten into this, I just realized something. They expect you to use the fluid pumps, which is the uh, factory zero oil drilling thing. And you can actually use the seismic reader to find oil. That's fascinating. So I think I screwed this up entirely. So let's go ahead and make ourselves up these fluid pump components of which we need 27. And that means we need Let's see, nine drill components. I think I have those laying around here somewhere. I do. And using that, we can then make these drills, I think. So we're gonna try and do that real quick. So first things first, let's go back here, add our drill components, our fluid pumps to the research. And that's gonna give us the bucket of oil we're gonna need to scan with. So this might have all been completely wrong. We, we have it, but it, it might be wrong. So let's see here, fluid pumps, what do they need? We actually need to use our remote to make these. And let's see, the only thing that's weird here is we need some aluminum gear. So let's make six of those. Okay. And my inventory over there is full, so I'm kind of stuck. And then we need to make ourselves some fluid pumps. And it looks like we need, how many of these do we need for this recipe? Three times three, so nine of those. So we'll make ourselves more fluid pipes. And now we make ourselves the fluid pumps. Okay, so we need three machine frames, two, three. And then with those, we should be able to make our fluid pumps. Go ahead and do this and do this. Okay, that's 18. There we go. Now we got 27. Perfect. And if we go to our quest log, we can use that to get oil. So now we have a bucket of oil. Now, as mentioned before, I got this wrong. So if I take my advanced ore scanner, excuse me, not our advanced ore scanner. If I take our seismic reader and I put our bucket of oil in here, this should start showing us where we can get oil from. Well, that is not looking good, is it? Oh. Maybe this is looking better than we think, because it's the blue. Interesting. I wonder if these are completely different oil reserves than the ones we already have. Like what this is mining out right now. I would say it has to be, because if I go to the chunk that we are at, it should be right here. Those numbers don't look like they are changing at all. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do with that knowledge. We are gonna put down our new oil pump here and connect it to this system rather than doing a whole separate one. So I think I'm gonna put that over here. I'm gonna clear myself a little space. And I think, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it in the corner for now. And this appears to be a 27 square, a three by three by three. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's super cool looking. And so that's going to need power and we'll pull fluid off that as well. So let's grab our logic cables and we're just going to come back over this way. And let's do this and this, I guess. Okay, I think that's connecting. We will need a energy interface here, an energy exporter of some sort. Put that 
here. That's also not exactly what I was going for, but it's close enough that we can make it work. Export energy. Okay. That's doing something. Okay, good, 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 good. So now we just need a fluid interface here. And I think what's coming out of that is supposed to be oil. The, the same oil I think that we're using over here in theory. At least I think that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, are our tanks already filled? Our tanks are already filled up. Okay. We will need to upgrade our tank situation pretty rapidly because naphtha is just a massive amount here. And maybe, maybe this is finally time for us to do the upgraded storage tanks. Let's see here. Where's our transfer? Pressurized multi-block tank. I think this is the thing that we should go unlock right now because that holds, let's see here, 64 buckets of capacity in each. Okay, so let's unlock this real quick here. I do not know why we have a sheep in our research facility. I assume he works here. I'm not one to judge. I'm, I'm sure that he's very important and very high up here in the system. Otherwise, why would he have gained access to our very highly secure facility? I, I, I suspect he runs the place, maybe. I don't know. So with that now unlocked, we should be able to do things with our pressure pipe tanks. All right, I'm going to go look up real quick how to put all of these pieces together because I've never done this before and I want to know how more. So let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so apparently these work very similar to the mechanism multi-block structures, only you don't have to put them in a cube shape or square or anything like that like you normally do in mechanism. Okay, so let's go make up a mess of these tank walls. I'm not sure how many we're going to need, but I assume it's going to be a lot. So I'm going to start with, let's say, four stacks of these. Okay, and I have a bunch more cactus green laying around, so I'm glad I made that a few episodes back out of leaves. That was very effective. We need one tank controller per tank that we are making. So we need three of these because we're going to have three storage tanks here. And we might even want to add a fourth storage tank just for oil here because I think that this is probably going to get backed up, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. Let's see here. We are going to put these down, I think, not over here like we've been doing. I think I want to give myself more room, so I'm going to put them out over here. Okay, so let's make ourselves a bunch of these tank blocks now. But I don't want to use all of these that I've got. Let's do 32 to start. I really need to do 48, so because I want to do four by four tanks. So that's going to be 16 at least. So let's go ahead and actually make up another stack of these tank walls real quick. We're going to need at least one outlet each and one inlet each. So let's do three outlets and find our fluid intakes. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, we'll do three of those. It's cute that the design is an arrow. That's that's super fun. Okay, and let's go ahead and put these down. So I'm going to come over from where this distillation tower is, and I'm just going to go straight here and give myself a little bit of space to maneuver. And that's not what we want. Let's grab that back up. I'm going to do a... tank like this. And you know what? I also want to make ourselves one of these indicator blocks so that we know how much fluid is in them. So we're going to put three of those in as well. Okay, great. So for layout purposes here, I'm trying to think through what would be the most efficient. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll do our controller and our indicator block on this side like that. And then I'm going to break these actually, because what I'm going to do here is put our outlet on one side and our inlet on the other side. So let's do our outlet here. 
and let's do our inlet, which I just had. There we go. Here. Maybe that's backwards from where we want it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. And we're going to fill in the rest with tank blocks. Okay. So all of that should be working. Okay. It looks like it's a single multi-block. Perfect. So let's do the same. We're going to come over a couple of squares. Let's do three and that way nothing will necessarily connect. And we're going to build a couple more of that same sort of structure. Okay, there's our semi-complete tanks. Now, they're kind of weirdly shaped. Again, unlike Mechanism, these don't have to be square. And I reconfigured this a little bit, so the intakes are on the bottom, and our outlets are at the top here, so we can do something with that in the near future. Now, all that remains for us to do is to hook all this up. Now, it looks like that this mod generally wants us to be using our fluid pressure pipes here more than anything else. So I could reconfigure these so that they're using the high pressure pipes instead, but for now we still have all of this set up, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense not to use it if we've got it already. So we're gonna go ahead and configure these exactly in the same layout as what we have here. And the big benefit here, of course, is that we can make these tanks bigger if we need more fluid storage in them. So that's awfully useful. Let's go ahead and use our low pressure fluid conduits temporarily, the Ender IO ones, just to get things out of this and into our tank. So let's do this to extract, this to insert, and there you see automatically it is draining everything into that. Great. Now, we just need to reconnect back up our pipe network here with our logic cables. And for that, we are going to need a lot more logic cables. Yeah, a stack should do nicely for now. We're just going to do it just like this, just to give ourselves a little bit of space here. There we go. And now we just need to connect these the same way that we have them all ready. So... Did I drop that interface? There we go. Okay, so this just needs to have a fluid exporter dropped on it, and that's gonna get our card from before, the Naphtha card. And that's still Naphtha, right? Yeah, that's still Naphtha. Okay, so that's gonna get Naphtha into it. The next one that we're gonna need is our lubricant, which again should be the middle one here if I haven't screwed this up too badly. Okay, and grab that fluid exporter. And that gets a lubricant card here. And then last, and certainly not least, we put in our gasoline into this one. Let's see here, where did that card go? Gasoline, brilliant. And now we just have to cable it up. So this cable, just run it all the way back over here. And now these should be showing that they're picking up there we go, slowly but surely, a little bit more fluid. This is looking pretty darn good. Okay, so what we are gonna do with the last little bit of this episode is to go ahead and complete those last couple of quests for our diesel power. Okay, so the compression dynamo is how we generally are gonna be making our diesel production, our gasoline burning here. So let's go ahead and make one of these. We're just doing that to complete the quest. We're not actually gonna use it. What we are gonna use instead, we're just gonna leapfrog right over that to our, let's see here, what's the name of it? The diesel generator? Is it just called a diesel generator? Okay, so we just loot fabricate ourselves just a little bit of lapis there, just enough for the recipe at this point. Now, let's see if we can make this real quick. There we go. Great. So this blueprint, what do we need to charge it? Okay, there we go. One redstone engineering block, four generator blocks, 13 heavy engineering blocks, nine radiator blocks. What was the rest of that? Five fluid pipes and six seal scaffolding. Ugh. Okay, so let's take this a little bit of a time and we are gonna need to clear out our inventory a little bit before we can get much further on that. So I'm gonna do that real fast. Okay, let's go through the weird ones first. Generator block. Okay, we make those with kinetic dynamos. 
So we're gonna need a few of those. What did that say we need? Eight? Four generator blocks. Okay, that's not too bad. So that means we just need two kinetic dynamos. Perfect. And we're gonna make two generator blocks with that. What are we missing from that? Electrum. Okay, well, we may or may not have some Electrum over here. If we can snatch it out of these machines real quick. There we go, some Electrum. All right, let's do this. And one more of those. Okay, excellent. I'm really not loving these things that require just a one-off. Okay, radiator blocks. What is a radiator block? Radiator block. Okay, it looks awfully like a pipe, but it requires a bucket of water. Okay, so let's go and grab our portable tank, and we are going to go over to our aqueous accumulator and grab ourselves up a bunch of water. Now, maybe it'll let us do that instead for this recipe, I hope. Yeah, well, how many did we say we needed? I'm going to keep forgetting. Five more radiator blocks. Okay, great. So we're going to have one too many. And that's going to be okay by us. There we go. 13 heavy engineering blocks. Those are relatively expensive, as I recall. So let's see here. Heavy. Do we have any made already is the real question. We have two. Okay, so we need 13 of these. Let's keep going. 14, one extra, we'll drop that off. And last but not least was steel scaffolding and fluid pipes. So fluid pipes, I know we have. Fluid pipe, we need five of those. Two, three, four, five. And I thought I had some steel scaffolding left as well. I'm gonna have to look and see if that's in any of my boxes. Yeah, we do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here, is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Perfect, okay, so that is all charged up and we can put this wherever we want. Okay, so we have carved out a space. We just need to figure out which way we want this to go. I think we might do a row of these. So I think it's gonna go that way. I think that's gonna look the best here. And we need to give ourselves a little room to maneuver, but we don't need a lot of room to maneuver. So we're gonna have one, two, three spots there. So let's just come over one more. And there we go. There's our generator. We just have to figure out which block we have to whack. You cannot form this multi-block. Further progression is required. Hmm. What is required? Let's see here. What did we not do? Oh, the diesel generator. We just need 12 8x research of blue. That's the one thing we're missing. So let's go here and see if we have our 12 8x blue yet. We do. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Great. And it gave us a capsule, which is the capsule that we just made. So that's uh, okay. That's fine. That's totally fine. Go ahead and drop that off. And we will head back down to our generator room that we just built. Okay. And now, hopefully, there we go go all done and now that i look at this this is uh backwards this is 100 backwards we want the power output coming out from the front of this i think or at least sideways okay there we go now we have it more properly situated so i believe that the blue is going to be for the input of our oil and we'll get our power out on the top of this. I think that's how this is gonna work. Let's see if we can figure this out. So we actually need, I think, gasoline in this. So let's come over here. We're gonna need a bunch more fluid interfaces now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and make some of those. And we're gonna put the first fluid interface right here on 
the tank fluid outlet that should automatically output for us. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to get, what is this, gasoline into our system. And for that, we're gonna to wanna to connect up these two other systems that we've got. So now that all of that needs to talk to each other, let's grab our cards. And now we're gonna head back here to our diesel generator and we should be able to insert directly into it with any luck. So we are gonna to need to change this fluid interface into an exporter. So we grab our output variable transformer card, fluid interface, and there we go, fluid extractor, good. Put that on here. Now, I would really love to wire this up to our existing network that we have here for our integrated dynamics. That would be the best. But to do that, we are gonna have to do a little bit of mining to sort all of that out. So let's see here, we're gonna wanna go down one more level. And then we're just gonna come over with this and meet it up with our other pipe over on the other side. And there we go, perfectly got our pipes to meet up our little tunnels here on the first try without even really looking at it. That was kind of magical, that rarely happens. Okay, our cable has now been run into our network. So all that remains is to grab our logic programmer and program a card. So we need to tell it we want a crude oil no 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 that's not the one we want a gasoline yeah the gasoline there we go and now we have a gasoline card let's just throw that away for now and export just that item okay Okay, I finally figured out how to get this to work, or at least I think I did. I just needed to pull the power out and then it actually started to pull our fluid here, our gasoline that we put into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and double check this by putting our export fluid card in here for gasoline. Yeah, so that's constantly filling up with gasoline and this thing is now completely running. That's amazing. We now have access to well, not a clean renewable fuel source. We don't have solar for that, but we certainly have a diesel generator and it is loud. It is so loud. Okay, back up over here a little bit. So yeah, maybe we'll build a couple of more of these between episodes, but that means we've got all of this knocked off. That is wonderful. Now, I also noticed that we can use that naphtha in our fractioning still, which we have made. So the fractioning still takes naphtha and makes refined fuel. And that gives us sulfur as a secondary output, which we can then use for things as well. So that might be what to do with all of that naphtha is run a couple of these just as refined fuel generators right next to it. But for now, that brings us to the end of this episode of Enterprise Architecture. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye friends.